Hello everyone, there is great news at TG campus. Dr. Sumit Majumdar or to be more precise, Dr. Dr. Sumit Majumdar is here with us today. He is a double PhD from the University of Delhi as well as from the University of Stuttgart. During and after finishing these degrees of his, he has been working in the field of education. So he is clogged more than 25 years in the field of education and to recognize his contributions, the Indian Achievers Forum has awarded him with the Indian Achievers Award. This is an award to recognize excellence in the field of education. So without delay, let's hear it from the man himself. Hello, sir. Please tell us more about this award. Thank you, Subramaniam, for, for such a very good explanation about the award. Yes, so I have been in the field of education uh, for the last 25 years now. Uh, I started off my career in the field of education uh, right from the very beginning in the form of a teacher. Then I graduated gradually uh, as a career counsellor. Means I'm a certified career counsellor as well and I do give career counselling sessions. Apart from that, since then I have further moved on and I have ex I basically I've mentored many teachers, many students who have become teachers and who have basically excelled in the field of education. Not only education, they many of my students passed out from MIT, Harvard, Cambridge and even from IITs. I have been in teaching for the last many, many years. And so that has been my mantra. I try to emulate what I have learned to and pass it on to further future generation of teachers because they are the ones who shape the future of the students. Okay, sir. So uh, what are you doing currently and what is your role in this organization? That's a very good point. I'm currently with Teach Campus. Uh, I envisage a dream to basically create something like a holistic perspective for the students in general. So as a result, we kind of conceptualize the phenomena or basically I should be putting it this way that it's a kind of a revolution in education that we thought of wherein we try to bring in every bit of thing that the students that they need in the current day. For example, classes, classes, all the classes get recorded. So recording of sessions. Apart from that, not everything can be taught in the classes. So as a result, to supplement everything, we also brought in extra bit of videos and study material. And obviously, the learning does not stop here. The learning has to be kind of supplemented with testing. And so we brought in the complete test platform, which is AI enabled, AI basically the artificial intelligence enabled. As a result, the student gets to feel that how exactly he's progressing. So there is a complete holistic model of learning and teaching. So I am responsible as the head of academics at TG campus to ensure that everything falls in place and every student who graduates from us gets to higher levels of education. So you mentioned artificial intelligence. Yeah. So a, lo a lot of jobs that are done by people nowadays is getting automated and being performed by AI because of the rapid Correct, uh, yeah. development of AI. Right. So do you think that artificial intelligence will also take over the job of a teacher, especially with respect to training students for uh, exams with fixed formats? Very good valid point actually. Um, what happens is that there is a misconception that the teachers are going to be replaced. The point is that when we talk about teaching per se, teaching involves a lot of human connect human connect, human emotions. When we try to bring in the artificial intelligence, irrespective of the intelligence part, there is also emotional intelligence that is being developed. But it is many, many years away to bring the emotional intelligence aspect into the artificial intelligence. I will not go into the uh, technical jargons of that. But obviously, the teachers cannot be replaced. But having said that, using artificial intelligence is actually going to help the students in the long run. For example, um, I was giving a symposium. I was a speaker in a symposium for, uh, for MIT uh, a couple of years back, wherein I gave them a visual learning experience, which has now become very common, but I'm talking about 2003 odd. So wherein what was done is that there was a lab that was set up 
where in the the using the artificial intelligence tools or design pedagogies a teacher sitting in let's say mit in massachusetts could actually teach the students who were sitting at remote places using just the visual so it created a kind of a laser hologram using which the students could actually feel how exactly it looks like and with the 3d glasses that have come into play so the student can actually visualize with both the senses of vibrations and the technological aspects so it actually enhances the teaching and learning progress of the students a lot of things have changed in the last few That's years true. with respect to teaching yeah so for example uh, especially during the lockdown a lot of students in fact most of the students had to learn from their homes right so what are the challenges and opportunities in this field very good point actually every challenge actually brings out an opportunity for the teachers and the students alike couple of years or even a few months down the line the students had to be explained what is or how exactly can we learn and teach online now at least the students have a understanding a fair bit of understanding if not everything about what is the learning experience when they are doing it online now obviously that is a challenging aspect because of multiple facets first of all we have still not got into the philosophy of getting a hang of how to learn online when the person is not sitting in front of you as sometime back i told you about the emotional aspect there is also a physical aspect that brings into the picture because students feel much more comfortable at least in the indian or the subcontinental perspective where they see that the teacher teaching or teacher sitting in front of them brings a lot of influence but obviously there are drawbacks because you do not get teachers good teachers at all possible locations there the online plays a huge role uh, i was going through an article where uh, there was a student uh, from i think uh, malaysia who was who was basically from a very interior part of uh, malaysia uh, she had to study she had to go to the rooftop of the jungle of the highest tree of the jungle she constructed a kind of a uh, learning uh, a kind Ooh. of a, a rooftop uh, place where she could learn so that she could get the network as a result of that i think anand mahindra of mahindra uh, kind of got this information and gave them a proper internet connectivity in that region or there are many other players who have come into it but that is the learning that is the learning the students if the students want to perform they can do it and similarly there are teachers who have gone beyond the scope of work uh, i was going through a video where there was a elderly person who was not used to writing on the digital whiteboard what he did he just used the rubber bands tied up his mobile phones and used the projector by writing on the kind of blackboard or whiteboard to be precise so there are ways to teach online it all depends upon how exactly you are able to modulate yourself to the need of the art so it seems that you are very advanced in the in the field of online uh, learning so what is your long term vision for tg campus the long term vision a well, very good point here so pramanip that the long term vision is not just the teaching part it is a kind of a creating a kind of a gurukul environment what is that what the vision is that that we want to connect each and every student even though virtually but we try to emulate or we try to give the student a freedom so that they can connect to the teachers because teachers are the best persons they can talk to they can talk regarding education they can talk regarding their future life which they yeah. cannot or they cannot open up with their parents and they are more close to the teachers in general yes. so as a result this brings about a career change they open up and then the teachers can further tell because teachers have gone through that and teachers are the persons who actually are the ones who shape their career no other profession shapes the career of a child other than the teachers so obviously that is my vision to generate not a bulk but a quality set of students out of tj campus right till the time they pass out from their higher education not only school education thank you sir it was wonderful interacting with you same here